I'm about to show you the biggest thing I've ever built in Blender. Around March last year of 2020, when the shutdown happened and kids were out of school, my wife just kind of offhandedly said, hey, you should build the kids a treehouse. And I said, ha, I'm a nerd. I don't know how to build stuff. I can't build a treehouse. <laughs> and then I started, to, started thinking about it. I said, you know what? I could probably design a treehouse. And if I can design it, I might be able to actually build it. And so I opened up Blender and started building. First thing I did was figure out the measurement system in Blender. It's pretty simple. I decided on inches, imperial system, of course, because America. And then I started saying, okay, I need to basically build this thing piece by piece, start from the foundations, and you know, then work into the middle and the more detailed spots. So my dad conveniently had four huge, uh, what are they, six by six inch beams. Now normally patios are built with four by four beams for the support, you know, legs. Well, we're groves, so we're a little extra, and he had six by six, so I said, yeah, sure, that'll be great for the kids. <laughs> that'll support them and, you know, the rest of the church and all their friends from school. Uh, so we use those as these support beams. They're very sturdy and very heavy and also very long. I don't know how long, I think they're 16 or 20 feet long, the, each of the ones that we used. And if we had bought those, they would have cost at least a few hundred dollars each. So that was a big uh, chunk of money saved, was the fact that we already had the biggest, longest pieces of timber already for free. So we decided not to do concrete uh, foundations, which is where you dig the hole, put the beam in, fill it with concrete, because this is a rental house and we might not be here for another year. Hopefully we're not here for another year. <laughs> so we wanted it to be semi portable and not, or at least not permanent. And so we decided to put rocks, kind of just like some uh, gardening rocks on the ground to eventually level out and make a flat foundation and then we put the beams on top of there we supported them with you know little 45 degree angle beams until we were able to connect them all with the outer edge of the uh the thing that we're on the uh the square <laughs> i'm not a builder okay <laughs> uh and then we of course filled it in with the beams One fun thing that I did in Blender was that I measured the size of this tree that we had, that we had to build around. And I found a 3D uh, tree from Sketchfab, put it into my Blender scene, made sure it was sized the right width. And then that allowed me to know, you know, how uh, deep the cut would have to be. And I designed one of my favorite features. I call it the Octa Bench. Octa Bench. And uh, yeah, that's in the middle where the kids can sit. And they apparently are doing some kind of botanical survey. Got a lot of things on there right now. We used some pre-made um, pieces to go around the edge for the handrails, which saved us a lot of time. They weren't that expensive. And we actually have an extra one sitting on the ground down here. It was really fun being able to design this thing down to the very inch and know exactly ahead of time what we were going to be building. There was no surprise, we had a plan. I had always thought through a lot of different possibilities and options and you know, this is what we stuck to. My dad and my brother helped me build it. It took us about four Saturdays. We probably worked two or three hours each. I'm not sure it was kind of hot because it was like getting into summer um, and I, we are in Texas, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, a lot of hard work. It was a lot of fun learning a lot of things. And this is, I guess, is really my first thing I built. Oh, I did build like a, a footstool when I was like eight. It was just three pieces of wood nailed together. So I don't think that counts. Um, so I'm just gonna say this is my first thing I've ever constructed. And I feel pretty, uh, feel, feel pretty proud. I did design a swing set, which I ended, we did not end up building yet. Maybe when we move on to our next house, we'll do that part. And I also got really lucky and scored this awesome free slide from a friend whose kids outgrew their treehouse and had this thing sitting around in their garage. I had to make a kind of a custom support piece to bolt it onto the treehouse. And it was a little high, so I put some bricks underneath there so it wouldn't be too fast of a slope for the kids flying off of that thing. It already is pretty fast. It's basically a 45 degree angle. Um, but the, the few bricks under the end really helps. This ladder my dad made, he used an old, I'm not sure what it's called, like a, a, a drill. Um, a drill machine that like drills holes and you we crank it up and down. That thing is his dad's and that is from like the 50s. It is, it is vintage. I don't know how that motor still works. Um, but he drilled the holes. We put these really, I think it's two inch or one inch dowel rods in uh, the slats. 
you know, put it together, nailed it together, and uh, that thing is not coming apart. It was hard to put it together. <laughs> so this is a very sturdy ladder. And honestly, I could have adults up here. I, I have been tempted to have like a barbecue up here with all my friends and just invite them out, because uh, this thing is not going anywhere. It is sturdy as heck. So yeah, that's my treehouse I built in Blender. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, ask down below. And thanks for watching.